trade costs and uh, export decisions in the model, right? So we are still talking about the internal economies of scale model. And we are now talking about the case when the trade costs Trade costs would be what? I mean, the costs which would be incurred if you are doing international trade, let us say, right? So in case of the presence of trade costs, what is it that we are going to show? That it is possible that for some firms, the profitability is going to fall because of the trade costs. And for some firms, it becomes so unprofitable that they cannot function in the export market. Uh, so that is the reason the firms, they actually worry about trade costs. They worry about where their customers are located. Uh, so if they want to do trade in the export market, it has to be profitable for them. <clears throat> if it is not profitable for them, there is no point of trading. There is no point of producing it for the export market. So we are going to say that uh, there are two firms, firm one and firm two. And let us say that these two firms, they are facing the same demand curve, whether they, that is in the export market or it is in the domestic market, right? Whether it is in the export market or in the domestic market. So let us say this is domestic market. And this guy is the export market. Let us say like that, right? And uh, also let us take that uh, this is what the demand curve is. So this is Q, this is price cost, price cost, Q. So let's say this is what the demand curve is, right? And they're facing the same demand curve, whether it is in the export market or in the domestic market. And this is what the intercept C star is. So there's the same intercept, which we have been carrying since the earlier recordings also. Uh, I'm sure you can see that. And uh, the only difference is between the export market and the domestic market that the, in the export market, there is a trade costs also, which are imposed. So let us say in the domestic market, of course, there is no trade cost, which is imposed. So in that case, your uh, marginal costs were like this. This was MC1 and uh, this was, let's say, MC2, right? This was MC1 and this was MC2. And uh, in case of the export market, these MC1 and MC2 are going to be shifted upwards. So beta, this was the MC1 earlier. Tuck, tuck, tuck. This was the MC1 without your uh, uh, trade costs. Now this has become MC1 plus T. So this was just MC1. So of course, when you are working in the export market, then these MC curves, they have shifted upwards. And this was your MC2. Hmm? And uh, here you have, let's say, MC2 plus T. Your book has actually shown MC2 plus T to be like really high. Uh, so I think I also need to make it that way so that you can compare it in the same similar fashion. Uh, so I'll also put this MC to be like really high here. Yeah. Hmm? So this was MC2 without trade costs. Now with the trade costs, this becomes MC2 plus T. Hmm? This becomes. So what happens? What happened in this case? Because of the tax, uh, because of the trade cost, which is being imposed, then uh, of course, when your cost is going to get higher, you are going to increase the price. There is no other way. And you will be producing a lower quantity. So because of the trade cost, one, you're going to produce lesser and you will be 
pricing it higher because in order to cover your higher costs, one thing. If MC is going to be raised above C star here, then of course you are not going to profitably uh, exist in the market. You have to exit the market. And that is what has happened to firm two. So for firm two, what has happened is, uh, firm two, what has happened is that it's MC2 was less than C star in the domestic market. Yes. So it can very well function in the domestic market at least. Uh, but MC2 plus T is greater than C star in the export market or in the foreign market. Uh, so firm two cannot operate in, uh, cannot profitably operate in the export market. Uh, firm one, on the other hand, firm one, on the other hand, will have, of course, MC one is less than C star. So it can profitably remain in the domestic market. Check. And also, not only that, MC1 plus C, MC1 plus T is also less than C star. So it can also profitably remain in the export market. So what has happened is that the lowest cost firms, they are going to remain. Uh, lowest cost firms will be remaining. Higher cost firms may not be able to function in the export market. Highest cost firms will exit the market. So ultimately, only those kinds of firms are going to remain in the market which have lower cost. They will be productive. And... Uh, and this will consist of a very small subset of the total number of firms, of course. Uh, so this is what is your, your text is also saying like this, that this explains why there is only a subset of the firms who are exporting, right? Because they can export it at a relatively lower cost and hence they are more productive. Uh, so, so this explains. Why? Only a subset of firms export And this subset of firms consists of so this these firms they will be larger firms and they will be more productive firms. This subset of the firm consists of relatively larger. and more productive firms, right? So this is one small recording, which I wanted to do in this class, right? Thank you, Vita.